Hi, my name is Andre Lage. I work for a Swiss company that is called Atalinks, and this is my social information where you can reach me and uh, to make some associated questions regarding the presentation that I'm going to do today. So what is the goal here? The, uh, the idea here is to, using the, the list formatting and the templates, try to make uh, some additional extension and try to use what is already out there and uh, try to improve it with some different type of user experience with some business uh, rules associated on the top of that. So what is the first thing? First thing is always what I say every in every project. We do some, pa some part of consultancy and we always try to answer the five main questions. What, who, when, why, and uh, what uh, situation itself. And for that, the first area is uh, we try to identify what is out there that we can uh, use and re uh, analyze and can we improve it itself. And for that, I identify, for example, the expense tracker template that is already provided by lists. And I will try to include some additional features itself that I'm going to describe. Uh, the other thing that I, I saw that was uh, really important and uh, the majority of the people like also to have is the definition of rules. In this case, the cost limits. If we reach some type of value, imagine more than 1,000 or 2,000, then we should trigger some type of, of flow. And this is what I also would like to show where we can use in the, the list formatting and plus some additional formulas. We can also create some additional uh, flows on the top of that. And then we have the features on the top of the of the solution that I'm going to provide with the customer formatting itself. And this will be the file picker, the using the, the locations with the Bing maps. Also, uh, I have a specific view for payment, uh, payment timelines view and also adapt the, the user interface that we have it from the list that also fits the mobile point mobile view itself. Uh, I also want to, to use the integration with the SharePoint page, with the filters, using the Power Automate, with the chase and to, this, to start the, the flows, and also use the additive card where we can make our approval process of the, the rules that I took it before. So how what we what is what I did? It's nothing more than picking pick what is already there. Try to see what is on the on the templates and. Uh, for us, when we when we need to work with the list and we need to have a better user interface, we try to to pick what is already out there with this Excel look and field, and we try to to change the the look and field that becomes more user interactive. And for that, we I I propose in this type of approach that in this case I call it pay, payment registration because it can be payment registration on the family on the company, and I just try to be a little more broad where we have uh, one initial interface where we have the ability to see the, what is the entries, what is the costs, what is the currency that we have it. And when we click on the on the title, we have a card that will give us the, the better description of what was the, the amount spent, it, what is the uh, document expense that was uh, made, what is the rating that we give it for the moment that we make this expense, a little description, and also the location that will can also redirect us on Bing's where was this location Bought itself. Another thing that I included was on this uh, in this area here. So I just want to include it here. We just include one additional area that can trigger the expense. And basically, with this flow, we'll send a. Uh, the deputy card that you can to a specific channel that they can approve or reject, and then the, the workflow will send it back and do some actions. So, so returning to our current uh, card itself. So the the first area that we have it is a category area where we can define what is the icon for the type of uh, action that, or in this case, the registration that we made. We have, for example, the invoice that we can also provide some type of interface. The total, for example, that we of what, how much we expend. And also on the top of the expansion that we did it, for example, we went to the supermarket. And to reach that, we also need to include the expense of the taxi. We can also include some sub, sub costs on the top of this main operation itself. We have the, the payment currency. We have the ability to expand and collapse. And then we have some main operations like, for example, the moment we paid doesn't mean the money went out. And we can also control these actions itself if we do it, uh, uh, when the payment is uh, made with success. We also can rate it and we also can, we can define the location where was uh, made uh, this payment itself. So on the card, we have a, a little more description and more detail uh, that can be easily identified that we don't need to navigate between different pages itself. So we have the same type of information, but more compressed and easy to be accessible itself. 
And then we have the ability to create the, the flow. And the flow is, for example, I create a rule. If we have more big expenses bigger than 1,000, automatically will appear a red light with a one specific new icon that appears uh, here that will uh, that we need to trigger a workflow. And this will send it to the channel where it's a bunch of administrators that will analyze and they will approve it or not itself. And this is the and this is the adapted card that uh, the channel will receive it. They will make an analysis of the content and then they will take some decisions. The moment they approve it or they reject it, the status will be changed based on the information that was going to be given. I will give an example later on. And then comes for the feature that uh, that I'll talk about. So the first one is the file picker. So the file picker is nothing more than one option that we can sell. Basically, what we'll do, we'll call a different tab where is the document library with the files, and then we just copy the link to the to the document itself. And then I store the the link to the item itself where we have this link. And when we need to have access, we just need to click it, and then we access to the view items of the of that specific document directly on SharePoint itself. The second one is the ability to use the, the embedded URLs parameters from Bing's and also the, the URL parameters that we can customize the, what is how the Bing's uh, maps will appear. For example, for this presentation, I remove every reference, for example, for restaurants, locations, that becomes more clean and doesn't appear at different uh, locations. And I only put some main areas that you can easily identify, like the Eiffel Tower and the Pyramids of Kisa itself. And here I also have how I'm doing the, the call. Basically Basically, it's nothing more than making a embedded, uh, I'm sorry, a URL that will call the map itself with the parameters from latitude and longitude itself, and then the map will appear there. I will also show. This is the, the payment timeline. I'm ordered by the moment that was paid, what is the category of payment, uh, the description, and I also have the card that I'm also going to show it later on. And then the adaptation of the, of the view. We have one that will be used for desktop, and the second one that will be adapted for the mobile view. You can use it and uh, move it left and right, and you see that will be very similar to the other apps that you already have on your mobile phone and you have the same type of interaction itself. So let's go to the example. So I'm just going to change to my site and this is the, my initial um, home page itself. As you can see, we already have some data information and some uh, views. The ones that I'm going to work will be based on this area here. So what will be the first action? The first action is to create the new item. So what I have done, I have an iframe that will call the new item form itself. And here we'll say travel, well, business travel, business travel to place. X, 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 X. So I will put this here and then I will say uh, travel expense. I will keep, I will define, for example, an air ticket and the cost was 450. And we can define other costs, but we can put it this uh, later on. And we can also define what will be the color. Uh, we can define what will be the location and the, and the, what will be the rate. In this case, I'm just going to keep it here and I will going to save it. Okay, I have it here and then I'm just going to, to access to my view. As you can see here, uh, that there is already one action, and in this case, is this is travel. And because I didn't say when this payment was done, I can always access and define when was the, the, the payment. In this case, I have the travel, I have the cost, uh, and I also have the, I should have the amount. In this case, I put it in the incorrect area. So I will say I have the, 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 the initial cost of, for example, minus 450 Swiss francs. And this will automatically give me. And also to reach the airport, I have some additional costs that I can also include. It. Oh, okay, the taxi uh, travel. And I will say this took me from home to to my to the airport. Took me around 60 Swiss francs. And then we can have a calculation process. At any moment, we can we can have only view uh, the initial information. But we, if we want to have it more details, we can always expand it when you have more de details itself. So uh, another thing that we can say, okay, the trip itself uh, went with a with a free uh, point, and where that we went. So for example, I can define. I fall tower. Let's see if this will help me. And of course, we'll never do when I need it. Uh, okay, I have it here. And uh, 
when I click it, basically I will pop up and he will tell me the city, the, the country and where it's located. If I need to know exactly on the location where it was bought it itself, basically this will open a new tab where I can see, okay, this is in France and this is the, one of the monuments from there. As I can, uh, like I said it, I remove on the, using the URLs, I remove all the parameters that can be identify uh, the locations itself. And uh, this is very simple where we can uh, detail more information. How can we associate the, the expenses that I have it? So I have a button on here and basically what it's going to do is going to call the document library itself. And from here we can define some, uh, some why I wanted to use, for example, not this one here, why I want to use, the, uh, I want to call a document library and not the image. Uh, the image field. The reason is I want to keep the, the business logic where the documents are needed. For example, if I need to store it in a, to a folder with, that is associated with this here, I can always associate this, uh, this area, this folder, and I will put the document there. And then the only thing I need to do is to copy the link. And I will copy and then return to my area. And here I will call it, I will save it. And then I have the image association with the, with the document itself. When I call it, I will I will be redirected to the to the visualization of the document itself, where I can do the association areas. And I always can always return back, and I always can cl click on the card, and I have all the actions that I did it before can easily be seen directly here. Okay, and this is the, the main uh, main properties and characteristics we can do our our business uh, uh, business rules. Imagine the cost that you have it for the travel was increased, and we have to say, oh, we, this is more than one one thousand five hundred uh, Swiss francs. In this case, as you can see here, there is a new button that means, oh, okay, stop. We need to have we need to send this to management or to someone else who needs to to approve. And for that, uh, I have here a flow action that I will go into call. And it's going to load just one few seconds, I'm sorry, for this, and then run the flow. In theory, what will happen in the Teams, I'm just going to access it, I have here the card associated. And the user, and this will be the channel that will access here. So all the users who have access to this channel means they have the ability to approve and to review all the costs. At any moment, they can click it directly on the document, on the, on the location, and then they will be also redirected to the where was uh, uh, where was uh, where I was being and what is the document associated. And that's why I wanted to keep the, the, the I want to call the library pick the file and because to keep the business structure of the document there and not only to attach as a, to don't use as an attachment or even to use the image one that create a separate folder but without the business logic associated. And for this case, I'm going just to reject. I have a justification why you need to reject. Uh, this travel was not approved. And then I just need to send the reason back. Just going to send it back. I have the answer. I'm just going to return. And when I return back, I have an image saying that was rejected and with a business justification itself. And this is the, the flow that we can also associate it. And of course, at any moment, we can, like I share, shared it with the, with the flows, if we want to have a better description of the, of the maps itself, we have here an embedded area and we can always associate the location that the user uh, can, was and can access it itself. So, and it is, we, with these all different areas, we can have the ability to have all these different visualizations itself. And any moment, and here is uh, something that we can also associate. We have here the, the timelines. Uh, we have here the description, we have the, the view, and we can make the filters itself. And uh, this is uh, basically the, the presentation that I want to say. This uh, sample is located in the repository. And one last information is, uh, please, all the things that you see the, from other presentation that you use on the list formatting and you want to make your customizations, there is a link that you can send some feedback that you can improve the Microsoft list uh, uh, information. Plus, these samples are already located in the list formatting repository. David, that's everything from my side, and I hope you have some time. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. This is really, really cool stuff. Amazing how far list formatting has come. Thank you.